what is the relationship between inflammation, chronic disease, and spices is the question I will be answering on today's episode of Ask Nutrition is Deepa. And to give that answer, oh my God, you won't believe who I have with me. The guru of spices, the, the, the best person to talk to, a researcher, a patent holder, uh, a famous personality in, in the world of spices, and uh, a, a book writer. I mean, there's so many things I can say about uh, Dr. Bharat Agarwal, who is going to be here, who is here to, to help us answer that question and uh, kind of spice up our life. So Dr. Bharat Agarwal, welcome to Ask Nutritionist Deepa. And it is my honor because over the years you have mentored me uh, and enlightened me with your knowledge about spices, inflammation, immunity, and it's my privilege to have you here. So namaste and welcome. Thank you. So uh, go ahead. What what are we going to uh, uh, talk about today, Dr. Agarwal? Yeah. So Deepa, thank you for uh, bringing me into the picture. And I'm very glad to be here. And uh, today, what my focus is on spices. Correct. So why spices? Because it just so happened that I happened to start my career in a company called Janantech, hmm. which is a first biotechnology company in San Francisco. Hmm. And apparently there were two guys that who came from Harvard and moved to San Francisco. And one guy that most people know, his name is Steve Job. Sure. He started Apple. Hmm. And he also came from Harvard and he had a friend, Bob Swanson, hmm. who started the first biotechnology company called Genentech. Interesting. And he's the one who hired me and uh, a, Within a week after I joined, he comes to my office and he said, Bart, he could not say Bharat because my first name is Bharat. He could not say that. Yeah. So he called me Bart. He said, can I call you Bart? Yeah. Said, Bart. So in Bart in San Francisco means Bay Area Rapid Transit. Correct. <laughs> so I said, you know, it is easy for him to call me Bart. He said, uh, Bart, you know, I have to, something to tell you. I said, what is that? He said, I want you to work on cancer and mm. find a cure to cancer. Mm. I said, wait a minute. I don't even know how to spell cancer. I never worked on cancer. Mm. He said, I don't know. I hired you to do just that right mm. now. Cancer is very, very prevalent in America hmm. and nobody has a cure. And I want you to work on that to find hmm. a cure. Hmm. Okay. So I started doing my homework hmm. to find out that what is cancer and what is the way to go. And one of the things that I learned, which is very common today, and in those days it was not so common, and that is immune system. Hmm. So the, I was the first one to start on the immune system to an immune system, what it does, it kills only the cancer guy and not the normal guy. Hmm. And the question is, how does it do that? Hmm. So I started working on uh, various things that are produced by the immune system. Hmm. And I was the first one to identify a factor called tumor necrosis factor. Interesting. TNF. TNF. First yeah. one. I remembered from my childhood that when we were like refugees who came from Pakistan, mm -hmm. and what was what is Pakistan now? In mm -hmm. those days, we had to move. So we were uh, very hands to mouth. We didn't have much money. Anything, anytime we get hurt, one of the first thing our mother used to apply was haldi, turmeric, yes. curcumin, yes. turmeric. So question is how turmeric is doing all that. So that is the time I begin to test that turmeric, you know, curcumin 
in TNF and found that it completely shuts down TNF. Wow. And everything that TNF does again against cancer is through inflammation. And if you can block inflammation, you can block cancer. And we found that turmeric can work beautifully wow. uh, against TNF. Wow. And TNF blocker have been approved with the market over $50 billion. Amazing. And how can you make a $50 billion out of one spice and that is turmeric? That's right. That so I said, I said, look, wait a minute. Turmeric is just one of the spice. So total there are 50 spices. Yes. So we started going spice after spice after spice after spice. And I'm going to tell you hmm. that most of the American women, more than 90%, they're named after spices. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, uh, and you know the history very well, mm. how Vasco de Gama, Christopher Columbus, and I mentioned you, Jose Cabarillo, they yeah. were all looking for spices, you know, more than 500 years ago. Exactly. They knew the value more than... Even, even they knew the value. <laughs> and Indian people have been using for spices for thousands and thousands of years. And that's how they started looking for India. Correct. Okay. But, so but then, Dr. Agarwal, I, yeah. I want you to tell them the whole story about, about, uh, uh, about Jose Cabarillo coming to U.S. and your current location right now. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting uh, little thing. So there are I would three like guys, share. you know, everybody knows Christopher Columbus came to America. So, so, you know, Spain is one country, I don't know whether you've been there or not. It is a very, very interesting country and they were always interested in spices. Hmm. So they knew that spices are connected with India, Correct. but they did not know where is India. Correct. So they were looking around the globe, India, because of spices. Correct. So Christopher Columbus, everybody knows, he was looking for spices. Mm. Vasco de Gama is another one, everybody knows, he was looking for spices. Mm. One guy discovered America mm. while he was looking for spices. Other guy discovered uh, India, real India. You know, he landed up in Goa while he was looking for spices. Correct. And there is a third guy, which not very many people know, mm -hmm. is a Jose Cabarillo. Yeah. And he came here in California around the same time looking for spices. Mm -hmm. And he is the one who named California and mm -hmm. he is the one who named San Diego. And he happened to be located at a place only two miles from where I'm talking to you from. That On a mountain amazing. called called, uh, and his name is Jose Cabarillo, mm -hmm. and the name of the mountain is Point Loma. And you and are you looking at that mountain right now. Right now, as I'm talking to you. So the spice connection is just divine here. It's, I, I cannot, I mean, this, this story has made my day and it's so exciting. And you talk about serendipity and you know how, how everything works out. So I'm, I'm, Looking forward to your presentation now. So can you please share your screen and walk us through your presentation on the, the connection between inflammation, chronic disease, and spices? So basically, I want to introduce three words for you. Hmm. What I have learned in last 40 years of my research. Hmm. And that can be summarized in three words. Hmm that virtually most chronic diseases, including cancer, mm. inflammation, in flame, means fire. Mm. The word inflammation comes from fire, in flame. So most chronic diseases, inflammation, what plays a very important role. Mm. And if it is a too much inflammation, too much fire, it can burn anything and everything. If fire is under control, everything is fine. So we need fire. So here I'm sitting here in sunshine and I put a curtain because I have a too much fire. Correct. So if I don't put a curtain, you know, and then the fire gets very overwhelming. Correct. 
Correct. Okay. So we all need a fire, but not too much. And question is, if it is too much, it can cause all kind of chronic diseases. Correct. And what is the best way to control fire in our body mm -hmm. is dietary agents. So what is there in the dietary agents? It is spices. Mm -hmm. So if you can, so spices we know for sure. There is another branch called Ayurveda, and I will touch upon that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And to tell you that there are a lot of agents in spices and a lot of agents in Ayurveda. Ayurveda means science of long life. So what is there in Ayurveda that can control spices? I will touch upon that a little bit mm. as well. Okay, thank you. So, so this is just to go on. So, and one spice that I'm going to talk about the most is haldi. Yeah. And haldi is healthy. So haldi is a, in an Indian word, which in English means turmeric. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here you can see what haldi plant looks like. Mm. Okay. And there I just put some pictures down here and look at the beautiful flowers. I know. And you can grow it anywhere and everywhere. No problem. Yeah. And this is just to show the rhizome where the turmeric comes from. Okay. The root. Yeah. This is the rhizome. And this mm. is where that yellow powder is derived from. Mm. Okay, and this is where rhizome, you can see it looks very yellow. Hmm. Okay, and, and here are even the capsules that are available if hmm. anybody wants it from Costco or other stores. Hmm. And here is what I'm trying to show you hmm. the best turmeric curcumin supplement of 2021 hmm. is turmeric. Is turmeric so in its own for in its own original format? And the article just came. If you want, I can send you this article. Yes. And so this is 2021, the best supplement known. Wow. Okay. Is turmeric. That's amazing. And if somebody wants to read up even a little more, here is a turmeric and healing spices. My turmeric goodness. and healing spices remedies for health and well-being. That's your most current uh, publication, I believe. Yeah, no, this is this particular one is not our, but we have another one. You have another one, exactly. Another okay. One. Yes. yes, you are right. Okay. Okay. So, and so much so, when I started my career with Haldi or turmeric, and that was, uh, you know, way back uh, in late 80s and early 90s, mm -hmm. and there was hardly anything known about. Correct. There were less than 50 papers. Yeah. And as of today, there are 50,000 papers. Of course. <laughs> okay. And here now they opened up a restaurant hmm. in Manhattan. And yeah. this article came from New York Times. Okay. A, in Curry Hill, a new kid on the block. <laughs> Aldi, the Indian cuisine. Okay. I don't know whether you have been or not, but I would like to go there one of these Yes. Days. Next time. Yeah. See we there. meet there. See, there you are. And this is March 19, 2015. It came from New York Times. Perfect. And here is another, you know, Silicon Valley you heard of. Yes. You know, in San Francisco. And they opened up a restaurant there also. Turmeric, the golden spice. Golden spice. And I have been there also. I have been there. That's very good. And, and now they are selling even turmeric cookies and turmeric latte. That's true. Now, do you think do you think turmeric using this turmeric in little non traditional way is is okay for its health benefits? The answer is yes. Any okay. shape or form you take, hmm. it can only help you, cannot hurt you. Okay. I have seen no evidence whatsoever that it can hurt. Okay. Okay. It is only plus plus plus. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And now here I have listed a whole bunch of products. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so you have a capsule, you have a tablet, you have a soups, you have mm -hmm. a drink, you have a face cream, you have a, all kind of soaps, gummy candies, you name it. Yes. Okay. And it is all based on turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah. Okay. And so, so the question is how, why people are so much interested? And mm -hmm. here is an article that came from Harvard magazine. Mm -hmm. 
hmm. tackling inflammation to fight age related ailments hmm. as i mentioned you most chronic diseases known to man they are caused by inflammation and here is a, you can see fire fires hmm. are coming and the guy is sitting in the middle yeah okay hmm. so inflammation 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 and the primary mediator of inflammation is that tnf that we discovered the tnf blocker have been approved by the fda with the market over 50 billion dollars a year wow and no drug known to man has a bigger market wow so it is already sold over a trillion dollar the tnf blockers okay amazing so here is association of chronic inflammation insulin resistance which mm-hmm. is what diabetes is and severe mm-hmm. obesity with mortality myocardial infarction cancer and chronic so just trying to show you jama is a journal of the american medical association mm-hmm. it is the most prestigious journal even they are talking about how inflammation is related with all this disease correct again i'm trying to convince you yes no i'm and convinced <laughs> again harvard stop yes. living with the danger of chronic inflammation Yes. See, again came from Harvard, 2020. Okay, to just to show you, meaning the thought process. I'm not the only one. Even Alzheimer, as we get older, yes. you know, Alzheimer and Parkinson becomes very, very common, and even that is connected with inflammation. So, if you know all that is connected with inflammation, there is a very simple way to take care of it, and that is spices. Yes. Okay. and here drugs that quell brain inflammation reverse dementia and mm-hmm. dementia is again very big problem and again connected with inflammation yes okay and here my friend sunil pai hmm. has a, a written a book called an inflammation nation yes and i am going to show you that america inflammation is so big that virtually all chronic diseases that occur in america yeah. is is connected with inflammation and it is again you know uh, forwarded by andrew vale you know yes. who andrew vale is i know is. andrew vale is i know of course i know dr bharat agarwal i'm talking to him so, right now so and, and you know deepak chopra of course everybody yeah. knows deepak so, chopra so this is all they forwarded all this very good so again simple tips to fight inflammation it mm. should look to you very familiar yes you know all this different kind of nuts So here is a twenty-five again. How exercise may fight aging, hmm. and again inflammation. Okay, yes, so yes. I'm trying to show you the thing that can help. Okay, and I mean it. It it has all the uh, every condition, including stress, is inflammatory. You know, and of course during COVID, it was it COVID COVID creates everything like inflammatory storm. Yeah. So yeah, right. so the foods with the highest aspirin content and you are showing a picture of spices See, now spice. how interesting yeah. is that See, there you are that is why i am trying to show you <laughs> that's why i am trying to show you the possibility the potential no oh. is unlimited okay and uh, so here i don't want to go through this too much details but this sure. is just to show you what our body is made up of how many yeah. cells and all that kind of stuff and yeah. i can go on and on you know being a scientist i do nothing but this kind of stuff yeah. so but i want to tell you mm. this is a global cancer incidence mm. no country has more cancer than america right no country has more obesity than america mm. no country has more diabetes than america Mm-hmm. and no country has spent more money to find the cure than america okay and here is a country india is the lowest incidence of cancer yes okay and the question is why is it spices perhaps <laughs> so so this is called epidemiology yes so based upon epidemiology that we can say okay what is happening where mm-hmm. okay Mm-hmm. and maybe that's why christopher columbus vasco de gama and jose cabarillo they were all looking for spices even they knew way back then that that's spices true. can help you See, because they were also after money yeah, they yeah, were yeah. making wealth creating wealth but of course instead of pharmaceutical they decided to go after nutraceutical right you, <laughs> you know you if you it. think about it yeah. uh, which yeah. is spices and and uh, healthy food so yeah. 
yeah we we lost that in you know somewhere we yep. moved from food to drugs yeah anyway okay so here again just to show you that uh, cancer is going up and up and up with time Correct. so here is a new cases of cancer and cancer death 2002 mm. here is a 2020 mm. new cases and cancer death 2030 so it is going up and up and up mm. so cancer is becoming number one killer mm. you can see right here yes that's not good no. that's the bad news so our working hypothesis has been uncontrolled dysregulated uncontrolled chronic inflammation causes lifestyle factors and immediate chronic diseases including cancer mm. so it is all you know uh, inflammation out of control okay and here you can see there is a whole journal with fires yes. so there is a word called cytokine which causes inflammation yes yeah. and the secret killer time magazine inflammation and chronic disease right on the cover and here where the fires are burning in our body it can cause different kind of disease okay inflammation a double edged sword for cancer and other age related diseases and okay. this is our article that just came that means if inflammation is under control mm. and this is immune system everything is fine yeah but if inflammation is out of control everything is bad yeah so it's a double edged sword yes okay so here you have a kitchen you know you need fire to cook you need a fire to warm up your room yeah. and on the same fire gets uncontrolled see what you are getting burning the kitchen it's burning everything around you and exactly. that's what it is i mean inflammation on a low lower level to everything is fine to, everything is fine to for example you know when we have an injury there is an inflammatory response to to yeah. heal that injury but then when it goes out of control because many times because of the lifestyle factors such as food and everything else then we have a fire in the kitchen similarly fire in the body that that yeah, you got it. it it's interesting the solution is not in the hospital the solution is right in the kitchen <laughs> thank you for saying that if i said that people will kill me okay <laughs> so thank you for saying that that's a very important statement and that is new generation need to know that and they don't care they yeah. rather go to the doctor and go to the hospital and all of that kind of stuff that's true even with corona virus i'm telling you i know i know okay so okay so let's um... so, so here so where the fires are coming from hmm. guy sitting here smoking cigarette fire fire people are taking their clothes off and lying on the beach fire fire people drinking fire okay people eating all this uh, meat and all this stuff fire yeah. obesity fire these are all risk factors correct so if you are going to do all of that you know no wonder that america has the highest amount of corona virus you know killing and corona virus incidence because all these factors correct <clears throat> and india has one of the lowest because you know most people don't go after that that's right because they still use lot of spices yeah okay so so this is the source of lot of our lifestyle correct so sad is a fad yes you know what is a sad standard yeah. american diet correct and that is the fad yeah and this is a standard american diet correct okay yeah. and so this is inflammation environment of pollutant food factor bacteria viruses cigarette smoking stress mm. lot of people are under stress hmm okay and the stress can cause fire so that's why i tell people shanti 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 yes and try to find the ways to find a shanti that means shanti and means peace shanti. he's exactly. asking you know he's saying to everybody to calm yeah. down <laughs> calm down that's it it is that simple that's true that's okay true. so then so, let's say people have this inflammation we know it's obviously you have proved your point here that we are all on fire mm -hmm. uh tell us the solution take us to the so land. here are ultraviolet radiation alcohol and so forth yeah so so here i just to again give you an idea one third of all cancer due to tobacco one third due to diet and one third is due to all these infections and so forth correct yeah 
Yeah. So, so that's what we wrote an article. If anybody is interested, can look it up. Mm-hmm. And it was this guy, you know, mm-hmm. Rudolf Virchow, mm-hmm. you know, who was the first one to in, to define inflammation as a redness, swelling, heat, and pain. I see. So wherever you have inflammation, these are the four factors that play important role. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he was the one. He is from Würzburg, Germany. And mm-hmm. he was the one who linked inflammation with atherosclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, cancer, asthma, Alzheimer, you name it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he introduced the word called itis. Itis, yeah. Like- so what is itis? Arthritis, inflammation mm-hmm. of the joint. Bronchitis, inflammation of the bronchus. Sinusitis, inflammation. So wherever this itis appears, it means inflammation. Yeah. Okay. And here are 200 different kind of ETs. Just imagine. Amazing. Okay. That's pretty much every condition. You name it. You, you name, name it, it and it's there, literally. See? 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 Yeah. This, this slide alone should be talking, I mean, conveying the message See? to the population that, hey, if you have any, if you circle any of this, <laughs> you have inflammation and you, we need to look at the solution. And so these are different things that are causing inflammation. And this yeah. is kind of to eat is, and it is leading to cancer, yes. cancer by cancer. Mm. So <clears throat> I don't want to go. So there is a master switch in the body called NF kappa B, which causes mm. inflammation that lead to disease. Mm. So this is a master switch in our body. Mm. Okay. And these are all the different diseases that have been linked to inflammation. Wow. So list is very, very long. Yeah. These are all the different cancers that have been linked to inflammation. Wow. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Sure, so whether sure. it is a tobacco or is a virus or UV or carcinogen, everything is inflammation. That is true. And NF kappa B, which, which means inflammation and its role in cancer. Mm-hmm. So this is an article that we wrote if anybody wants to look it up. And yeah. these are all the molecules in our body. Mm-hmm that are responsible for inflammation. So pharmaceutical industry, you know, they may come up with the inhibitor of one agent. They That's may come true. up with the inhibitor of another. So how many drugs are you going to take? That is and true. I'm going to show you so spices can take care of all of them at once. Amazing. All of them. Okay. Yeah. And so here is inflammation lead to cancer. The normal guy becoming to cancer guy and it survive and invasion mm. and metastasis, mm. all inflammation. Mm. And here are all the different diseases wow. that are caused by inflammation. And here, as I told you, inflammation is good for you if it is kept under control because inflammation is a very important, important part of the immune system. So that what is, is shown in the green is a good inflammation. And what is shown in the red is a bad inflammation. That is true. I mean, if you look at the red list here, uh, yeah. something like headache, yeah. that yeah. majority of population has it, or skin disease, you know, mm-hmm. indicates that it's, it's an inflammatory condition. Got true. it. So, so let's, okay. let's, let's get to the food part then. So anyway, so here, cigarette smoking, I'm going to kind of quickly keep skipping. Yeah. And these are so here is even a stress. Stress causes inflammation. And then cancer. So stress is not good for you. No. Nope. Okay. Hmm. So neutralizing tumor promoting inflammation, a magic bullet. Yeah. Okay. It is that simple. Right. And so one of the ways that people take care of inflammation is steroids. Everybody heard of steroids, NSAIDs, yeah. celebrex, metformin, statins. And but what we are going to talk about is natural products. Correct. And traditional medicine. Yeah. And here are all the different things that we have identified that wow. can take care of inflammation. So this list has uh, all kind of spices and fruits. And all the different spices, Ayurvedic medicine, fruits and vegetable, Chinese medicine, and so forth. That's true. And if we look at the spices, I'm quickly going to read the list here. Ginger and cloves and fennel so, and fenugreek. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you go ahead. Holy basil and onion and onion seeds, yep. uh, poppy seeds, pomegranate, red chili, sesame seed, turmeric. And this See? is just a s- small list, I think, you know, and it's, these days they are, they are found so easily. Um, and then you have fruits and vegetables, cauliflower and grapes and mulberry and soybean and art- artichoke. Yep. 
hard. So this is all a fruit and vegetable based intervention for, for uh, as an anti-inflammatory compo uh, compounds. Very good. Here are active compounds that have been identified. Wow. You know, so you can very much, and here is a curcumin. Curcumin is also called cure cumin and come from yes. turmeric. Yes. There is a red chili called yeah. capsaicin. Yeah. So these are the active compounds that have been identified. Hmm. Interesting. And so this is nothing different because Hippocrates proclaimed 25 centuries ago. Yes. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. You know, so this has been around for a long, long time, but mm -hmm. people don't buy it. You know, pharmaceutical company just taken over. That is true. Okay. And here is a, even a science. You can see the cover of science, all the fruits and vegetables. Yes, that's right. This is a very nice uh, old yeah. issue of science, which, yes. which is uh, showcasing yeah. Uh, all yeah. these uh, interesting vegetables like, you know, different kind of lettuces and green onions. And, you know, that's another thing. I mean, people think that spice means something spicy, like hot, but it's not. But it's no. like yeah. fennel is on a sweeter side, you know. It, it ha it, spice, spices doesn't mean uh, spicy, guys. It, it also means flavorful. So if anybody's interested, we have a book called Inflammation lifestyle and chronic diseases yes the yes. silent link so mm -hmm. this is together with this uh, uh, this uh, some of the other people and uh, this book is available on amazon mm -hmm. and here is what you call farmers market and yeah. here are different fruits and vegetables that we have identified that can control inflammation mm -hmm. and you can see even all the different kind of spices and so forth and yeah. here is even more bigger farmers market and uh, it is uh, you know it is all available you know there is nothing magical about it that and, is true this yeah. farmers market stand has every spice and every fruit that you can think of exactly. I, I can if i start you know uh, i don't know which one to pick but the the take home more the merrier variety variety is the name of the game yes uh, you know? Having one dimensional diet is another one, you know, and people usually feel that, oh, if they eat healthy food, it's not going to be tasty, but really the flavor comes from variety, variety, from variety and from, uh, from herbs and spices. Awesome. Okay. So this is it. And guys. here are all the different spices. I know. All so kinds you of can see 108 different spices. 108 different spices are listed here that can have. You know, anti-inflammatory so effect and here is a resveratrol you know people who like to drink wine yeah. you know and it comes from grapes all the different uh, you know this uh, again fruits and vegetables where resveratrol come from yeah. and again we have written all these different articles here is indole 3 carbinol i'm just trying to share with you some of the uh, vegetable that what has yeah. been identified and here is a tocotrienol and which is again part of vitamin e and yeah. here is a palm and whatnot and that what has been identified how much it is there and so forth and how it blocks inflammation and block pancreatic cancer and we have published it quite a bit and here is ayurveda which is a science of long life and how that can also help inflammation and cancer and again we published a lot about it here is a google this is a google that came before the other google that you and me know so this google has been around for thousands of years and again that uh, this is what the plant looks like this, this google guys is a is a plant it's yeah. uh, it's so it's, here is a googling the google googling the google <laughs> exactly <laughs> for prevention of chronic disease this google is spelled as g g u g g u l so yes. google so yeah. g o o g l the yeah. other google right. which is interesting awesome so and this has been around for thousands of years i know and here is a google steroid the active compound how it blocks inflammation yeah. and here is a boswellia frank incense mm. when people die they bury them Correct. you know they think even jesus christ was buried in this one yes. you know frank incense mm -hmm. you know it comes from boswellia this is yeah. another google yeah okay and it is described and here is ashwagandha yes. ashwa means horse gandha means smell they smell like a horse and it is a uh, called Vithania somnifera, again, yes. that blocks inflammation too. And here is a long pepper, we know short pepper, and this is a long pepper, mm -hmm. and that also blocks inflammation. And here is a neem, 
you know name the name is azadi rakta indica azadi means freedom drakt means tree tree that gives you freedom from all diseases and in sanskrit sarav rog nivarani cure of all ailments and this is the active compound and again we publish quite extensively now i will come more chronic diseases inflammation and spices how they are linked and this is these are all the different spices and here here is a vasco de gama in 1498 looking <laughs> for spices right. and this is very he ends up that's right okay that's right. so you can imagine this is part of the history you know and that for two years he spent over there and we were there a couple of years ago in goa interesting yeah. and these are the spices what he was looking for you know all so comprehensive so we have a book as you know that they call healing spices so i'm going to put a pause here I'm, i'm going to let everybody know this yeah. healing spices was the book mm-hmm. that that's how i got connected with dr agarwal god knows how many years ago but mm-hmm. since then this is my holy book in the kitchen it, it on my work table and everywhere this book has taught me so much about the health benefits of spices and herbs and there are recipes in there and uh, uh, people who know me if there is any event that i uh, that where i have to take a gift i usually take this book as a gift because i truly feel that if somebody can start using even one recipe every week that their life their health is going to improve so please 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 look into this book called healing spices it's an amazing book and i was just it's a treasure in my house and uh, because i that's how first of all i met dr agarwal because as i started reading the book i of course went to see who the who was behind this and i contacted him and since then like i said he has taught me he has mentored me and as you can see from this very elaborate powerpoint how detail oriented the research is and what he has done so okay so the uh, sorry i took a detour about talking about book but it's much needed okay. so now it has been translated into german it has oh, been translated into spanish it has been translated into various other languages if anybody mm. interested so we have another one called immuno nutrition interaction mm. of diet genetics and inflammation mm. and this is with david heber from ucla Mm-hmm. if anybody is interested another one molecular targets and therapeutic uses of spices mm-hmm. and that is also available so here you know you they talk people talk about add spice to your life okay they talk about curry in a hurry yes or spice it up a spice queen a spice goddess so these are all the thing that are used in america so often you know right. and people need to use spices you know and so much so that most of the american women they are named after spices and here you can see anise ginger rosemary mace pepper basil tulsi sage jasmine angelica <laughs> curry chili tamarind <laughs> they are all amazing. spicy names <laughs> so they are spicy names uh, for uh, uh, you know it and uh, and have such a significant yeah yeah exactly significant uh, meaning to this this is yeah. awesome <laughs> so Um, these are all spices you know mm-hmm. and so we have a dietary nutraceutical as a backbone for bone health mm-hmm. so if you want to fix your bone this is another way to go just by spices healings with spices here is uh, you know that uh, all the different spices that are uh, out there and uh, mm-hmm. here uh, one in particular that we want to focus on mm-hmm. oh yeah so this one so more spices you know mm-hmm. and so here is a curcumin and again all the different mechanisms and so forth you know that you don't have to worry about mm-hmm. and again the more about the mechanism how it does that here you can see turmeric red chili fenugreek fennel cloves holy basil you know and here is a red chili blocking inflammation ginger blocking inflammation ginger blocking you know bone loss and black cumin again blocking inflammation fenugreek mm-hmm. you know these are all spices and here is a fennel all blocking here is a black pepper here is a cardamom and here is a cardamom more here is a turmeric the golden spice from traditional medicine to modern medicine mm-hmm. okay and here is a curcumin and here you can see exactly what it looks like 
And here is if we are on the cover of trends in pharmacological sciences, pharmacology of curcumin in southern India, you know, no ritual is complete without turmeric. That is true. And here you can see turmeric lying everywhere and the guy getting married and his feet are all spiced up. That you know. is right. <laughs> so, so you can see these are the tradition that you are very familiar with. And this turmeric is there in every language. Here you can see in, in Arabic, it is called Kumkum. Here is Armenian language, what is called Bengali, Bulgarian, Burmese, all different languages around the world. So, okay. so you it can is, see that how culturally well accepted this is. You, you know? name here is a Polish language. That here is, is a, you know, Nepali language, every language. And in India, here are all the different names of spices based upon what they do, That's you know. True. And this is all listed over the here that I put it down. Yeah. And these are more age old spice with modern targets. And mm -hmm. there are actually turn out there are 100 different kind of curcuma. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so where we are, we are talking about yellow turmeric, oh, yellow okay. curcuma. Mm -hmm. And then in a place called Gujarat, there is a white amba haldi. Yes. White turmeric. Mm -hmm. And that is another. So, and I was in Thailand and there is a black turmeric. Okay. Yeah. And so here I put all hundred different kinds, but the one we know the most is the yellow one. Yellow one. And here mm. all the different. Mm. So, mm. so this is the guy Vogel in 1842 who discovered curcumin mm. and then it was isolated and all that. This is the first paper ever published in 1949. Mm. And uh, here is just to show you more different products that are available. Mm. And turmeric, before pH meter came along, turmeric was used as a pH indicator. Oh. How? That if it is put under alkaline condition, it will turn red. Red, yes. And if it is put under acidic condition, it will turn black. Yes. So if you want to know a solution has a, a this uh, acidic or alkaline pH, you can just put turmeric, and right away you will see change in color. Wow. Okay. Yes. And then Johnson and Johnson even made a band aid. That's right. That, uh, you know, as I was mentioning you that uh, when I was growing up, my mother will put turmeric yes. and uh, they even took advantage and made a band-aid. That's true. And then if you take it this much turmeric, this is how much curcumin is there and this is the rest of it. But I'm sure Dr. Agarwal, you also do the same thing. Like for example, if I get a cut, I all, all my first instinct is to go and get a pinch of uh, turmeric and, that's it. and, that's it. and, and that's put it in there. I mean, it. I even carry powdered turmeric in my purse. See, oh, <laughs> you cannot go wrong. Nothing wrong because it clots it and it heals it. And before you know, cost it's you done. nothing. Cost you nothing. Correct. You know, Correct. it is that simple. Yes. So, so here is all the evidence. Yeah. Okay. And it is it killed the virus. It yes, killed yes. the bacteria. It killed the coronavirus even. Yes. Okay. There are thirty paper published on turmeric killing coronavirus. Wow. Thirty papers. Okay. And here. here is, and most bacteria will be killed by haldi. Just imagine. And okay. most fungus, and it is anti-fungal agent, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. fungus will disappear. And in Southern India, there is a termite. If you, anywhere you have a termite around the house, they mm -hmm. sprinkle little turmeric and That's all the, wow. you know, term, uh, those uh, bugs will run away mm -hmm. within no time. It says that turmeric is as potent as a hydrocortisone, which means, uh, you know, it has its uh, yeah, role in, in, uh, in pain. It, it you can better be believe that. You better believe that. Yeah. So before, uh, you know, I mean. And here is all the evidence, all the paper published. That's right. That's okay. And this is just showing blocking inflammation. Mm -hmm. And these are the paper we published for the first time that uh, mm -hmm. how it does that. And mm -hmm. here are all the different cancers yeah. it has been shown. You can imagine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine, ten, ten yeah. kinds of cancers. Yeah. Where, so, curcumin uh, and cancer, old age disease with age yeah. old solution. That's right. <laughs> I know. Old age disease with age old solution. That's really <laughs> right. Oh, wow. So, so, these are uh, all the different targets. You know, if somebody is yeah. a scientist, you know, want to know how it does that, and I put all that together. Yes. And uh, TNA blocker, I mentioned you the market over fifty billion dollar. Correct. Okay. And uh, now curcumin, turmeric can do exactly that. 
Mm. Okay. And here I put all the information and what these blockers have been approved for. You know, these are the name of the TNA blocker that have been approved by the FDA. And uh, and this uh, these are the different diseases, what it cures. Mm. And, and here, all that. So curcumin is orally bioavailable blocker. Mm. Okay. Orally, no problem. No problem, which have... means guys that when you take curcumin by mouth, yeah. uh, it, it, it blocks the TNF, which is the, anti, uh, which is the inflammatory marker. Right, all the evidence. There is all the evidence. And here is a woman, you know, from uh, India that who showed 150 milligrams twice a day wow. or eight weeks, you can see the TNF is blocked. Yeah. This is a control. Yeah. This is mm. Pre and post. Yeah. Usharani yeah. is the name. Mm. And here are all the other clinical trials that have been done. Wow. And uh, here is a, even biliary diseases. Mm. And curcumin is bioavailable. How big is the problem? Not at all. Here is, a, you know, various paper that we have published. And here it uh, ends up in all the different organs. Mm. And here, even uh, I was giving a talk in, uh, in uh, a Bulgaria, Sofia, mm. Bulgaria. Mm. And the guy came to me. Mm -hmm. with these pictures. They say that topically they are applying turmeric and see what is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is completely cured. Wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. you can imagine. And these are cancer patients. Yes, of course. Just topical application. Topical application on wound healing. So curcumin yes. has its role on wound healing. If you just have, if you have a wound, just start, yeah. start putting some uh, uh, turmeric powder on it and here is a psoriasis, psoriasis. and uh, here you can see that before yeah. and here it left. yeah so it's they true. changed the name to soria gold Interesting. so there is a woman called madeline hang from ucla hmm. and she published these papers and she's selling it under the name soria gold i see okay hmm. and just rubbing it with turmeric and here is a uvitis is mm. another kind of inflammation. And mm. again, completely 80% of the patient is born. Yeah. And here is a, it is a, if a turmeric added with the resveratrol, green tea or quer, these are some of the other agents, it is synergistic. That's, it further so curc that's why curcumin and black pepper, it goes hand in hand. Exactly. Or, uh, so if yeah. you just, uh, genstein yeah. is another one that is found in soy, quercetin yeah. is there, green tea and that's where uh, retro troll would be yeah. another one. So some that is also an important uh, point to make for the synergistic. Uh, yeah. effect of so synergistic means two plus two is 10, not four. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so here that NIH, National Institute of Health, they put the data, mm -hmm. the incidence of cancer in countries where spices are consumed and cancer in male versus female. And yeah. here, country like US, where spices are not consumed, incidence of cancer in male versus female. Wow. So you can imagine that goes on to show you that how it can minimize the cancer incidence. That is true. I mean, it's just uh, uh, skyrocketing in the United States. And if, if the intervention is as simple as the spice box or, or a spice cabinet, how easy life would be for all of us here. So. Okay. So here I put cancer by cancer in U.S. versus India, sure. and you can see from the numbers. Again, it's it's amazing. Okay. So yeah, it is that, that obvious. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so NIH they wrote a article spicy approach to cancer treatment. Yeah. <laughs> if you're somebody's interested, our curry compound fights cancer in the mm -hmm. clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and the Scientific American they wrote an article spice healers, yes. you know people who treat people with spices, spices. you know, yeah. so spice healers, mm -hmm. you know. And I was happened to be you know my name is Bharat, and I happened to be in uh, Istanbul, and there is a place called Grand Bazaar, mm -hmm. and Grand Bazaar mm -hmm. is uh, very big on spices. Mm -hmm. And here I'm standing there. Yeah. And all of a sudden I see all the spices. Hmm. And I got surprised. And then I see my name on the top, Bharat. So in Turkish language, Bharat means spices. Interesting. Which yeah. and my wife is taking my picture 
and uh, I did not know that uh, the word Bharat, because in the olden days, whenever somebody wanted spicy, that means it came from Bharat. So Bharat came. Oh, so they that... became a synonymous with the word Bharat. Bharat, I see. So even though the spellings are a little bit different, mm. but in Turkish language, this word Bharat means spices because they brought it from Bharat. That, that is another amazing <laughs> coincidence, I would say. And uh, so I'm going to conclude that you were born and gifted to us to, to, to work on spices, basically. You, your name means spice, in, the, represents spice. You live next to the mountain and see. the region where, uh, you know, uh, Jose uh, Cabriolo um, landed in search of spices. So, and here you are, all, all your life you have done nothing but uh, work related to spices and cancer and inflammation. So, so I just conclude right that these are all the different books and yeah. these are all the different people who did the work mm. and I'm um, done. So thank you. Grassi, namaste. Thank you. Know, and all that. That's good. Can you just uh, uh, stop sharing for a second? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, what can I say? I, um, I got a, a, another lesson in... Um, in uh, Dr. Bharat Agarwal's magic with spices and inflammation. And uh, I'm so grateful that we got to sh uh, share. I mean, he, we had this opportunity to share where he shared his wealth of information and knowledge with us. And um, Dr. Agarwal, thank you so much again uh, for taking time to, to come on my show and uh, help us really understand and, and nudging us to spice up our life. So everybody who is listening or watching, please go. And if nothing else, at least buy a bottle of turmeric and start sprinkling on anything and everything. And if you, if you don't eat food, then I would say just put it on your skin or, or on your face or, uh, you know, but start consuming turmeric. That's the take home message. And uh, Dr. Agarwal, thank you again. Thank you.